Hi there, my name is Ellie Lindsay and I'm a TMJ, my fascial therapist. And today we're going to be talking about this area here at the front of the throat. And I'm going to be giving you some quick self-care for that area. So firstly, why this is important is that often people that ex are experiencing jaw pain or TMJ disorder, they also report this kind of feeling of like a closing of the front of the throat here. And it can just feel quite tight around this area. And this can also affect the tongue as well. Some people get sort of pain in the tongue or just a feeling of irritation in the tongue. And secondly, this is really important for breath as well, because ideally we want to be breathing through our nose rather than breathing through our mouth. So opening up this whole area can really help with sort of having that space to breathe. So we have this muscle coming all the way down here. It's this big kind of sheep style muscle and it's called the platysma. And um, we're really interested in giving that a good stretch today and just really helping to open up this area here. So you're just going to need about three minutes to do this alongside me. And if you can incorporate this into your day as much as you can, that would be great. So what I'd like you to do is just be comfortable. So sit down somewhere that's comfortable. If you can have your feet on the floor and have your spine nice and straight. And then what I'm going to ask you to do, to do is just come onto your sternum here. So your breastbone here with one hand and just apply a bit of pressure sort of inwards. And then I'm going to ask you to put your other hand on top. So it doesn't matter which hand you use in which position here. Now continue that pressure inwards. And now start to take the direction of the pressure downwards as well. So I'm going in onto the bone and then I'm going down. So my hands aren't sliding down, I'm just sort of maintaining pressure there. And then with your jaw kind of relaxed, open and relaxed, so not fully open like this, but just sort of hanging really in a comfortable position. I'm just going to start to take the chin up towards the ceiling. So I'm just going to come out so I can talk you through it. So if you could try and just maintain this stretch for the whole time that I'm talking, that would be great. If it does feel too much at any point, then it's much better to just ease off and come out of it a little bit than to come all the way out and back in again. Because the whole point here is that we're asking some of the connective tissue sort of to, to unstick itself and it needs a bit of time to do that. So if you're able to just stay with this stretch for, for some time, then that would be really great. If there's any pain at the back of your neck whilst you're doing this stretch, then just, just bring the, the chin a bit more down towards your chest and don't go quite so high into the stretch itself. But otherwise you should be feeling this really nice opening through the front of the throat as you stay in that stretch here. So your hands are still on the sternum and they're sort of encouraging this tissue to go downwards towards your feet and your chin is up to the ceiling and you've got this nice long stretch here. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is stay in the stretch and just slowly close your mouth and you'll probably feel that really intensifies the stretch. So the stretch looks exactly the same but now you're bringing your teeth together and closing your mouth. And just hold with that for a few seconds. And if that feels like too much, then at this point, go back to how you were with the jaw sort of relaxed and hanging open a little bit. You can choose either option here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually just start to take the chin to the side a little bit. So staying in the same position, but turning the head. So a little bit to the left and then taking the chin just towards the right and then back to the left again and back to the right. 
And if you feel like you want to stay in either of those positions, then do so. Otherwise, come back to the center just for the last few breaths. So if you're still comfortable with your mouth closed, then keep your mouth closed. I'm just going to take a couple more breaths here. And then when you're ready, just slowly, slowly bring the chin back down and release your hands. So that's a really lovely opening for that area there. And give this a go as much as you can throughout the day, at least once a day would be great. And do let me know if you have any comments or questions on that stretch.